Hey everybody, this is Patrick from Rock Solid Home Inspections. Uh, I'm here at a really nice country house. Um, I say that with uh, the, the idea that this house has a lot of hope. Uh, we're here with some clients who are hoping to take this place from being uh, a place with a significant amount of challenges and into something beautiful. Uh, but I'm here to give you your inspection school. Who wants to be a home inspector out there? Who wants to learn about home inspections? Who wants to do my job? Well, let's take you through a little bit of a, of a course today, a bit of a learning course. Uh, so let's start with a couple things. You, as we go around this place, you're going to find uh, a significant amount of issues. Let's start right about over here. Now, we have some wiring right here. Who knows what that's called? Anybody? Anybody? Well, you're going to see that there's a knob right there. Okay. You're going to see old cloth wrap wiring going up. This is our old knob and tube. Now we're going to take our electrical tester right here. We're going to put it up there. And you see that lighting right there? What does that mean to us, folks? That's right, live knob and tube. Significant issues. Why is it an issue? We've covered this in previous videos. Uh, check back on the YouTube channel and you're gonna see a, a lot of good information about knob and tube. Uh, but it doesn't end there because this is the type of house that we, we should be using as our learning experience. Come on over here. Now let's have a look at some of this other wiring because this is not our knob and tube. This is our good stuff. This is our okay wiring, except let's come on around. This is our Canadian grade. What is that word right there, folks? Who can see that word right there? What does it say? Anybody? That's right. This is our aluminum wiring. So we've got knob and tube and we've got aluminum in this house. We're going to come on over to this. Uh, now, what do we call this type of electrical service? This is called a, a fuse box. Fuse box missing a service panel, of course. Never a great thing. Uh, as we go through the box, we're going to get a little closer. Let me just shine a light in there. We are going to see some significant aluminum within there. Okay, significant aluminum uh, mixed with our knob and tube, some, some uh, bad electrical combinations. But let's take it up a little bit more of a notch. Let's have a look at this service entry coming in. You're going to notice that conduit's rather small, and there's our main connects coming in. That main connect looks a little smaller than it should be. What does that mean to us? Electricians out there are shouting it out. I can hear them right now. That means we've got 60 amp service coming into this house. So we've got 60 amp service plus knob and tube plus aluminum. We have a real big electrical problem on our hands, but we're not done there. Let's start looking at the basement itself. As we go around the basement, we're going to see a lot of cracking that's been sealed up. And we're going to see, as you look along the floor, you're going to see a lot of moisture along the floor's edge. This is a very, very, very damp basement. This continues all the way along. This is the type of country basement where we're going to be recommending some sort of interior waterproofing or preferably exterior, depending on its actual state. What happens when we get water in basements? Well, deterioration is one of the big things, but how about this stuff right here? What do we call that, people? Shout it out if you know. Shout it out if you can tell me. That's right. This is our live active black mold. This is a very problematic thing. And to my wife, yes, I know I should be wearing a mask and I'm not. I am keeping a good distance though. Mm. Uh, so uh, we're not done there yet though. Because again, you folks want to be home inspectors. These are all things you got to be aware of. Now we're going to come and we're going to look uh, around some of the duct work. Okay. Now, a lot of times we're going to look around our duct work and we're going to find absolutely nothing. But what happens when we don't find absolutely nothing? Every now and then we come over to a spot like this and what do we see there? You see that fibrous wrap? You see that wrap right there coming off? That white fibery substance? What do we call that? Who's been paying attention? Shout it out if you know. That's right, that's our asbestos. So, so far we are into a wet basement, black mold, three different major electrical issues, uh, asbestos, what else did I miss? This investor, this person who's going to be taking over this house better be prepared with uh, a significant amount of money and a significant amount of patience to be able to go through and do this work. Is it worth it? That decision is not up for me to make. It's up for them to make. Uh, but this is a good chance for you in the home inspection world. Uh, if you are an aspiring home inspector or just are curious about what we do, this is what we do. Welcome to my world, folks. Take care.